Pretty common procedure that you need to do when doing certain types of brake work on a Harley Davidson is you need to bleed the ABS system. So it's a pretty simple functional test and I'm going to walk you through it. It only takes a couple minutes. I'm going to use this Ethos Edge right here. The first thing we need to do is we need to go into Scanner and we already have it hooked up to the bike. So we're going to choose Harley Davidson there and do Auto ID so it can tell us what the bike is. There we go, and it's going to let us display either all the systems it could have or just the systems that are on this bike. So we'll just do fitted systems to tell us what's on the bike. There's my vehicle, hit OK. Okay, and then we have a couple different options. Let's go to anti-lock brakes. Need to determine the computer, goes through there. And that's listed under a functional test. And it's under special functions. And there we have bleed brake system. If we click on that, it says this test is for bleeding the brakes. Make sure the ignition is on with the engine off during the entire test. Carefully follow test procedures. To start, press continue. Okay, it's going to initialize the module. Okay, it's ready to go. Select continue to pick your choice between bleeding the front brake, rear brake, or both. On the next menu, it's going to tell us do we want to do front only, rear only, or front and rear. We're just going to do front only in this example. So we'll go there. Make sure you do the manual service draining procedure to the front brake system according to the service manual. When finished, press continue. So we're just going to go with that already being done. Hit continue. And it says activate the front brakes with as much pressure as possible. Okay, the release. Okay, at this point it should start to have some resistance. Check it and then press continue again. So we'll check that. Yeah, it feels like we got some good resistance. Continue. Okay, now it says do it with as much pressure as possible for about a minute. Okay, released it. Then it says from this point follow service procedures according to the service manual. You may need to manually bleed the brakes again right now and wait 30 seconds before running this again. So the test is complete. Walked right through a couple easy steps, only took a couple minutes, and the brake bleeding procedure is done.